Oh, hello there. I'm Marco. And you are? Oh, lovely to meet you. Just wanted to let you know that you're looking positively stunning today. Oh, yes, darling. Now, if you wouldn't mind terribly, would you consider leaving a review for this little audio endeavor? I would so appreciate it. Oh, now, anywhere is fine. Go ahead. I'll wait. Chop, chop. A podcast by the Intergalactic Improv Initiative. Dangerous Dangers, Episode 5, Pack First, Ask Questions Later, featuring the voices of Alanya Campbell, Tiff Compton, Amanda Cotter, Leah Lawson, Dan Spitaleri, and creator Kaya Renwick. Many things are falling, or will fall, or have fallen, but temporary triumph is still triumph. I should roll. Last time on Dangerous Dangers, hoping to find information on Jesse's missing ship, the crew of the Corsica met with the Minos informant that Harkin set them up with. The meeting turned into a firefight on the Presidium. With two assailants down and two on the run, we joined the victors in the aftermath. January 19th, 2189. Terran Universal Coordinated Calendar. The Citadel. Widow System. Serpent Nebula. The Presidium. Presidium Commons. We left off on the Presidium after the semi-successful firefight with Minos. We've got the handful of CSEC officers uh, investigating the Minos corpses. The head CSEC officer, this rather imposing tall Turian with uh, darker plates and light markings, very standard array um, in his blue and and steel armor. Doesn't look terribly pleased uh, that he has blood to clean up off the off the presidium well they started it uh sorry who are you can i get your name please he pulls up his omni tool and starts recording oh i'm athena hellier nice to meet you miss hellier thank you thank you i know armando i think he had an inkling we were coming uh, I would like you to roll a... I'm assuming this is a charm check. 13. Okay, sweet. Okay. Well, that'll have to do. Your friend of Captain Bailey's. Indeed I am. Gonna need a little more information here, miss. All right. Well, I spoke to him earlier, mentioned that we were on the trail of these certain individuals and asked if he had a lead. He didn't, unfortunately, but... Here we are. Seems we've all found them. And honestly, the less of them, the better, right? You have a couple of options here. You can spend a stress and roll again. Yep. Uh, You can roll an insight check to see if you can, like, get any clues as to how else you might persuade this guy. Or you can, like, try to get him to call Bailey. Basically, you got to up your persuasion game here, and doing so, it's like the the risk is getting higher, uh, but you do still have options. Or you can just abandon the attempt, and he will continue recording and reporting this to his superiors. Oh, she doesn't give a shit if he calls Bailey, because she knows that she did speak to him before. So, was that insight, sorry, to do that, to, to call Bailey? Yeah, that would, that would be insight, yeah. basically, to see what you, if you can, like, gauge from his... Yeah. Uh, his attitude, what would convince this guy okay. to let you guys off the hook? 16. Okay, yeah, that'll, that'll do. Um, you get, so you look this guy up and down and you get the vibe that he's not quite crooked, but like his palm could be greased if it needed to be. Um, or you could... He he might respond better to a little bit of a show of force, and so, like, calling the... Like, call Bailey, right? Calling his bluff sort of deal. Oh, yeah, we're 100% doing that. <laughs> okay, well, you go, go right ahead. All right, friend. What was your name, by the way? Oh, fuck you, <laughs> Athena. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a name for this guy. Okay, 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 okay that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. All right, 15 George. minutes in and okay. the DM has cursed us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a name, are you kidding me? No. Okay, uh, George. Um, George. George. <laughs> All right, George. 
Just call your... George the Terrier? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Doesn't matter. It's George now. It's George. I was I was gonna just cut this out, but that's just funny now. So, he's, yeah. You, you call him George, and he, like, looks at you and, like, yeah. taps his earpiece, like his translator's yeah. malfunctioning. Yeah, translator. <laughs> that's not my name, but... Well, you are a very curious boy. <laughs> oh, dear. Damn it. Yes, uh... So, George, we're going with George because you didn't introduce yourself when you asked me to. So, George, call Bailey. But call him, I don't care. Do it. Okay. Uh, he rolled real bad on his charisma save. Uh, and so he uh, he kind of like, oh. You've taken him off guard uh, between just brazenly calling him by the most unturian name <laughs> that <laughs> you, you could come up with. And... And then tell him, well, call your boss. Yeah, 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 bring it, bring it. And so he, he does. He, he taps his earpiece again and turns away and has this little mur- mumbled conversation. Uh, yeah, yeah, Captain, I've got this this human woman here. Name's Athena. She says you you, you knew about this this uh, possible firefight, sir? And he, he nods and nods. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Understood. Yeah, of course, sir. Yes, thank you, sir. Uh, and taps it, hangs up, uh, and looks back at you. He's got her arms crossed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my apologies, ma'am. Um, we were the the word was not handed down of this particular little uh, undercover op. Uh, deepest apologies, and uh, we'll we'll get this we'll get this cleaned up right away. Um, and he does the very human gesture of like tapping on the side of the nose, and turns away. Atta boy, George. Cause we're on the same page now. Just before you, you know, she's gesturing at her nose this time. We're just going to check a little thing. Or two. Or three. He he nods and, like, got you. Got you. And and very, very obviously turns a blind eye. A cab, even in Mass Effect, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Attaboy, George. He's such a karma chameleon. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Happened. Clues would like to see if, by any chance, uh, the escaped lead uh, individual dropped anything behind uh, on his way out. Uh, sure. Do you want to investigate the uh, body of yeah. the person you squished first, or do you want yeah, to we just head over there? Oh, yeah, it's probably a good idea to investigate. Are you investigate. going through pockets for loose change? I, I should I should get the loose change, yeah. <laughs> Let's investigate the body first, and then I'll go search. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to, to, to double check because you did squish them. If there's so. anything left. Yeah. I mean, there oh. is. It's just very flat. <laughs> All right, uh, roll me an investigate check. How do you loot people in Mass Effect? Is it just a bunch of people waving their hands around dead bodies? <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> that is an 11. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, she's a dead pancake, um, so the DC was not very high. Thank God. <laughs> Uh, and so, yeah, so you go through um, the pockets of, or like the the, the little compartments of, of her armor because they were um, they were wearing like low profile hard suits, so not like the the full on shepherd and co hard suit, but still um, still some armor on them. Uh, and you find um, her her Omni Tool bracelet uh, and a key card. I would love to see if the omni tool like is the omni tool intact is it busted because i did sit on it um i think didn't you mm. squish her head i think probably i don't yeah. I, I don't remember that you were very like how specific you were about how you squished her um, i also do not but recall. i feel like you were probably going for <laughs> i also sorry? do not recall <laughs> yeah i feel like you're probably going for maximum yeah. lethality uh, and so I'm going to say that the Omni tool intact. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah the Omni tool's intact. Yeah, because it was on her and on her body as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I would love to uh, take a look at the Omni tool um, and see if uh, there's any information about um, what this person, what the, this group is doing. Um, any plans that they were going to intercept us, and I would also like to see if there's details as to what the 
card is four. Okay, uh, that will definitely be yeah. a hacking roll because that that buddy is password protected for sure. Yeah, is, can we? Is the password one two three four five? Password's password. I can assist. Uh, anybody who wants to assist, absolutely. That Thank would you. give Dan's Am- Amanda advantage. Kate, Dan's, uh, Dan's going to assist. Um, and yeah, yeah, uh, you're you're hacking. You're playing <laughs> Frogger with the with the Omni tool. Can we check the other body in the meantime? Yes, that's a seventeen. The- yeah, seventeen. Yeah, you can check the other body. Yep. Uh, that'll be an investigate. Okay, on a seventeen. Yeah, you unlock it. Um, it's it was a pretty pretty basic encryption, as all thing all things considered. Like basic good mm-hmm. level, not like basic kitty level. Like we're talking like medium yeah. decryption. Not one, two, three, deal, four, five, right? but like the use four different words XKCD style. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Correct horse yes. battery staple. Yeah. Yeah. Um, correct. Hijack Ezo. I don't know something else. <laughs> Whale. <laughs> perfect. I know I was so close. You were so close, and it was almost perfect. Ah, correct. Correct. Hijack Ezo frigate. Yes. There we go. Mm-hmm. Love it. Yeah. There we we got there. We sure we did. Okay. Uh, yeah. You hack in, and you find this is Susanna Scutari's <gasps> Omni Tool. Oh my God. Dude. We recognize oh, this name. No wonder she wasn't answering her phone. Indeed. Uh, and as you discover this, you look over and you see her like her cracked open skull, and you're like, "Oh yeah, I see the resemblance." <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Clues. Clues is uh, how how would Clues respond to this? Um, Clues would uh, would look look at the Omni tool, look at uh, her busted ass face look back at the omni tool look back at the busted ass face and say grimly it is a shame what you had wrought i would have just spoken to you at home <laughs> oh dear uh okay what what else do you find on that omni tool you find plenty <laughs> um you find that uh the you find the the like the home her home address is the residence oh, okay, address gotcha. that you found. Okay, there's there's not a whole lot else of use to you on her Omni tool. Um, Minos is frustratingly competent in many ways, and so they don't actually like you're you're not you haven't stumbled into a treasure trove of of information uh, from one operative's Omni tool. Um, it's just basic stuff. But you do you do find that uh, the key card um, is a secure method of entry to that residence. Excellent. So we can go snoop her apartment later. Indeed. Indeed you can. Um, Athena, were you going to investigate the other body? I rolled a whole ass nine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you... Somebody else can help. Did you roll? <laughs> Again, well, uh, guys, the DC for an investigation okay. on a corpse is Ooh. five. Whoa. Oh, sick. Okay, good. Good, uh, because she knows. So <laughs> they're, they're dead. All right. They're dead, y'all. <laughs> um, I, I, if you if you rolled like above a fifteen, I'd be like, "Are you doing a cavity <laughs> search? Like, how intense are we getting here?" I mean, she's really Zara. Um, <laughs> Thena snaps yeah, that later. Yeah. Mm-hmm, true. Uh, you you find the equivalent of loose change. You also the uh, the other guy's on the tool bracelet did get mm. damaged in the fight, um, but you do find his credit shit, uh, and it has you know a few hundred credits on it. Oh look, I found three money. Pretty much. Uh, I'd still like to look around um, for anything that the uh, the lead might have left behind. Okay, that will be another that would be another yeah, investigation. Check. Unless anyone else has higher investigation uh, and would like to search themselves. Higher investigation than the detective, the galaxy's greatest uh, detective. Totally not. I'm perceptive. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a five. I have a plus Who six to both hacking and investigation. Uh, Holy shit! Okay. Yeah, so you beat me by one. What do you got, Amanda? Uh, for my modifier? Investig- invest. yeah. Oh, it's zero. Fuck me. <laughs> I got a 25 on an investigation. Hell yeah! Hot damn! damn. Nice. Uh, okay. Um, you... You do not find that anything was left behind... Um, but I will say on a 25, you would have a pretty good idea based on where 
both um you said you have you have a, that in hacking and investigation yeah okay then I am going to just make a little bit of a narrative choice here uh, because the lead was cloaked when he left and so you wouldn't have seen him go uh, but you're savvy enough with the various uh, systems that you can let you do a little bit of poking around on the door panels and you f- you find the one that was most recently accessed. Um, and so you know which door the lead went out of and you saw which one the engineer went out of. Um, and I'll say that you managed to... Um, did you guys destroy the turret? Yeah. That, oh, yeah. yeah. He made... Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, I will say that with a 25, you managed to... Um, you managed to find the turret's data core. It's a little bit damaged, but you actually managed to retrieve it from the wreckage of the turret. Hell yeah. Well, I do have plus six to repair. <laughs> hmm. Hey. Something. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I'll like uh, come back with the something. Uh, turret, the data core of the turret. <clears throat> but like, um, if we can base this back together, I can uh, try and take a look inside of it, but I, I'm not really good with my hands like that. Anybody? So let's hand it off to the pachyderm alien with the massive hands, who's apparently and really good at this. It's a wild universe. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> can we just take a moment to realize that in... Th- because we're not showing our faces, no one can see the look that Le- uh, Leia just gave to camera. It was pretty fantastic. And she said, mm. <laughs> We're acting with the whole body here, baby. It's so good. Oh, we yeah. need to record next oh, time. Yeah. <laughs> Physicality makes it into the voice, baby. Exactly. Yeah, totally. Oh, absolutely. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, Jesse coming up to clues and, you know, saying, like, uh, or I guess maybe coming up to everybody, we're all in a group, and uh, so clues will <clears throat> clues will say triumphantly, "I am quite good at using my hands for things. Please give it here." I'll hand it over. <laughs> and I got a nineteen. Oh my! Hell yeah! Okay. Uh, sure. Um. Damn, yeah. Okay. You. I will say that you. You, you dust it off, you fix it up as best you can. Um, it's got a crack in its data matrix. Um, so you will need to find either, like, a, you'll either need to take it to, like, um, a bench with, with special tools um, to, on a meta level, you'll need to, that to lower mm. the DC. Um, and so you've, you've fixed it up, but it's not functional yet. Great! Um, or you would, you could possibly buy, like, a new screen for if it. you were if you were fixing this for somebody you could buy a new part but seeing as you want to fix this and see what's already on there you will actually need to fix the data matrix otherwise you're just getting yourself a new yeah, data and core that's all the info essentially stuff. yeah yeah uh one other thing before we uh step to that um out of curiosity like there's a lot of like plants and stuff up here um right yeah, there's also a lake relatively nearby. Nice. Is uh, are any of these plants no fish? Are, fish. Uh, are any of these plants like edible? Uh, like uh, any like mint or any? Are you sort hungry? Of, like, uh... <laughs> no, I want I want Solace to be able to start a garden. Aww. <laughs> Roll me a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Look at the glee nice. on her face. Yay! I could have had you do like knowledge or something. Yeah, no, that's true. Uh, that <clears throat> that would be a a seventeen on my looking for a plant to give to Solace. Ah, uh, y- yes, yes, sure. Um, <laughs> there you notice, and so the 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 layout of this particular little plaza on the Presidium of, is they've got um, there's like the benches and stuff where people can sit. And they have planters, uh, and in these particular planters are these uh, long, sort of, uh, they kind of have the appearance of a weeping willow, but like coming up from the ground, these long fronds, and they're sort of like a silvery green. Um, and you happen to know uh, that these are a plant from Karshan. They're uh, they're sort of like, they're like a, a really spicy mint. Ooh. 
so cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna like pull um a bit uh from that like little I don't remember what it's called when you uh like prune off a little piece of a plant. You take a cutting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I take I do a little cutting um and I bring that over uh to Solace. Uh and Are you attempting at all to be stealthy about this? There are CSEC officers around, so <laughs> Yeah, they're still there. Yeah, but I am an Elcor. <laughs> sure, I'll. Yeah, I'll try. Somebody cover for me. I I'll distract them. Okay, fine. I'll say that you have advantage because Athena's helping you. Like you, you sort of like, you you Athena sees you eyeing up this this weird plant, and you guys have worked together before. You have like a little bit of of know how with each other, and um, I don't know, Athena, what are you doing to distract the? Um, the officers. Well, she just kind of like walks herself in front of the CSEC officer so they're facing away. And then uh, she's just going to fiddle with the uniform. Just kind of straighten them up. Make them look sharp. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Um, okay, I would like Lightly you to... Lightly raise a hand down his chest. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, are you... Is is this George? Have you picked George, I, or are you going with one of the other CSEC officers? I think I said there was an Asari, a Batarian, and a human, I yeah, think. Yeah, no, it's George. <laughs> it's, 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 it's George. It's George? Jesus Christ. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like you to roll me a performance check. Ooh. <laughs> Compliment his fringe. Better than a flat flirt. Or his waist. And a supportive waist, yes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, it had the plus four. Thank fuck, I thought it was a one. Yay! <laughs> it's, a, it's a five. Oh, it is a one. It's a nat one plus four. Yes, it is. <laughs> nat one's yeah, still a nat one. Back from that. Unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, so you, you, Amanda, we oh, will yeah. resolve this for you in a moment, this but this is, you. I cannot, I cannot let this go. Uh, so you sidle around and you start flirting with George the Turian. Flirting! Um, He's distracting. Distracting, <laughs> distracting. You start attempting to distract George the Turian, and you're... I mean, he's wearing a hard suit, so, like, are you, like, polishing bits and, like... S- yeah, anything I can yeah. touch is just trying to... Any- yeah. Maybe ruffle the hair a little. Ruffle yeah. the hair on the tree. You're like you're like well, the hair. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The spikes. Yeah. What? It, yeah. 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 You're you know making sure there's there's you know the no fringe. no no uh, no fluff or no like, fluff. whatever on it. And he he looks at you <laughs> and like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, you're in charge, aren't you? You gotta look the part. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a roll for him. Real fast. <laughs> oh no. Tell me George crit the oh, other way. Please please tell me, yeah. <laughs> no. Did he crit fail? Second that one in a roll. <laughs> he also crit wow. failed. This is oh the meat God. cute we didn't know we needed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So so <laughs> the back of his neck just flushes dark blue. You can see it above oh. the edge of, of like his undersuit and it creeps up the back of his head. Um, and his mandibles sort of wave kind of loosely. Um, <laughs> and he says, <laughs> huh. Wow, I... You know, I usually go for men, but... Uh, And so despite the fact that you crit failed, so did he. Uh, So Amanda, you still get advantage on this stealth roll. Well, my stealth is negative two, so... It's enough, it's enough. (laughs) I rolled a 13, and hopefully that's enough. (gasps) Yeah, that'll be enough. (laughs) Yeah, you get get your cutting... (laughs) This is the oh. excellent Athena. You ju- you you blackmailed the polis. <laughs> You're seducing the gay Turian. Like, wow, it's impressive. That's impressive. You've stolen your cutting. Yeah, I would I would like to approach. Uh, I would like to approach Solace um, enthusiastically. Please take this gift to start your herb garden on our ship. 
I very much look forward to the delightful meals that you will provide us. And then I do an affectionate bump. Solace um, is a bit, uh, I guess you can't, you can't tell if they're not, they're not flustered, but confused. They like just kind of tilt their head a little bit and the bump confuses them a little bit more, (laughs) but seeing um, clues give them the, the, it was a mint, right? A herb Like a spicy mint. Yes. Ah, there we go. Yeah. They will, (laughs) I don't know. Is there tentacles prehensile? I don't know yep. if that's the right word. Yep. They, okay, yeah, they're, they're feelers. Yeah, they, yeah, antennae, feelers, whatever. They do also have little tiny arms. Have oh. T-Rex arms. Yeah, I noticed it. <laughs> and so they will take, use one of their tentacles to take the mint into their grasp. And they'll say, we thank you very much. This is very sweet of you. And so using their little weird rachni hallucinogenic things they'll they'll um it'll be like a glitter effect kind of going into uh clues's vision like and clues just lets off a little little, thank you yeah (laughs) and there's just like a little pheromonal like (laughs) happy baby (laughs) oh that's adorable (laughs) i love that yeah glittery (laughs) glittery happy gratefulness that's so cute Oh my god, you guys are adorable. Okay, uh, what's next? Raga has kind of been looking in the uh, in the lake that's there because you know she heard a rumor about fish. But <laughs> um, once Jesse finds the turret, uh, it was a turret that he picked up, right? The yeah. core, yeah. Also the door that um, the guy left. Yeah. So yeah, um, she's gonna walk over. Uh, towards Jesse and ask um, I know it's a long shot but you didn't happen to know any of these guys did you I I mean you're you're human so I just wasn't sure what the what the pool of people (laughs) hey you're from Canada right do you know this guy from Saskatchewan (laughs) and then the awkward you're like (laughs) I live like five provinces (laughs) over but yes (laughs) That's exactly what sure. I'm channeling right now. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Um, I just met you, so I'm going to let that slide. Uh, do I know any of them? I mean, once... I, I'm, I'll go check the one whose head wasn't crushed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. And then I guess roll me a... I guess a history check? <laughs> uh, okay, plus three. That is an eleven. No. No. Sorry, no. No. Yeah, I just wasn't sure. I mean, I didn't mean anything, but uh, I, you're going to have to forgive me. I was a shaman for years, so I didn't really talk to other people that weren't other tiring, raiding female Krogan. Oh, yeah. You're good. I, I was just kidding. You could turn me into a fine mist, so I'm not going <laughs> to piss you off. <laughs> And you know what? I think that's the reason we're going to get along swimmingly. (laughs) And she just, like, pats him on the shoulder as gently as she can. (laughs) Still leaves a bruise. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Gently, gently, gentle. By the way, the the leader of them went that way, and I'll point to the door that I was able to detect or hack or whatever. Okay. Um, Athena's going to steal play with George, I guess. Uh, <laughs> she was like, hey, hey, okay. Do you mind uh, doing a little check and just seeing where our other fellows went off to? And um, if you like, we can get a drink later too. Um, <laughs> so are you asking, are you asking him to like follow up on the leads that you guys found? Yeah. Yeah, like maybe ch- check the security to okay. see uh, just okay. what direction. Yeah. Um, went. he is like enthralled, uh, by, by your, by your, well, I mean, there's the whole, like, five fingers, yo, as opposed to, this mm-hmm. thing, you know, it's, it's a, mm-hmm. they're nimble. Um, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Reach and flexibility. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to flirt with you every game, Kaya. Perfect. I love it. <laughs> I look forward to it. 
I look forward to it. I think my favorite part of this was that I had... Come on, this sprouted out of fan fiction. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I had decided before you did this that he was gay, and so when he failed his check, I'm like, oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Surprise, buddy! (laughs) He's just trying a new type of wine. Exactly, exactly. Ah, yes, I I understand that reference. Uh, So, yes, um, he... He just sort of, he's like numbly nods. Like, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I, I can do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah, he nods. He says, I can do that. And then he says, where can I find you? <laughs> That's the question. I could be anywhere. But if you want to talk to Bailey, he can give you my number. Oh, play it hard to get. All right, all right. I can respect that. <clears throat> Athena? Yes? <laughs> Bigger fish. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Double meaning. Hey-o. Oh. George will do some investigating once he's out of Athena's seductive gaze. Um... And, uh, and what are you guys going to do out now? I feel like going the direction that the Minos guy went is probably not a bad idea. Um, so, um, yeah, I would suggest, I would just ask Jesse, um, you said that way? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, I might be able to... Visually, I couldn't see him, but I, I might be able to check uh, what doors were used. That's kind of how I uh, discovered that passageway. That was the one most recently activated. Mm. The longer we take, though, the less reliable that's going to be. Well, then I'm going to say you better lead the way. All right. Um, and so, yeah, I guess I'll go through that passageway and uh, attempt to see what I can hack from there. Okay. Um, you head through that door into... Um... One of those. So you remember in Mass Effect One um, when you would like go through one of the doors in the Presidium and it would lead you through to like a little corridor that would lead to another part of the Presidium. Yeah. This like little twiddly bits. You go through a couple of those twiddly bits. There is a far too long elevator ride, which is a little bit squishy because you have an Elcor and a Rachni. Um And a Krogan. And does Anna Krogan? Uh, does Does anybody uh, make conversation on the elevator ride? <laughs> <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> God, I hate this music. <laughs> You'd think after years they would change the music. <laughs> you would have thought they would have changed it by now. God, it just says <laughs> wistfully. I've always liked the girl from Ipanema. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that. All I know is they mm. haven't changed it Neither am in I. hundreds of years. <laughs> I love it. That's perfect. That's just perfect. Okay, the door <laughs> opens um, into. So you are you're still on the Presidium. Uh, you would have to uh, head to one of the connectors to get to one of the wardrooms. So you're still on the Presidium, but this is a lower level, um, and it's it's quite a warren down here. You have you have headed down into like the maintenance areas. Um, there are not many people down here. Uh, but you do see a fair few keepers mm. scuttling around. And uh, this you, you appear to have come down into a hub of some sort with a whole bunch of other, other options. Basically, you've come down. This elevator brings you down to the maintenance room. Um, and then uh, you can then take another elevator up to, like, a whole bunch of other places in this, in the, on the Presidium. Um... Yeah, this is, it's sort of like, it's the hub where the keepers would go to, to get to other spots. The next thing I'm going to do is bring up my Omni tool, and I don't know if it's capable of doing this, but as an extension of, like, hacking or networking or something, can I use it to check, like, heat signatures or something? Since I can't see this guy. (laughs) Uh, I will say that your... It's likely that your gear as an N7 um, special ops folks, you would probably have the capability of doing that. And so I would say that, yeah, that and that would be a, I guess that would be an investigation check. Okay. 
And can George ping them if, like, he picks up anything on his feed? Yep. Yep. That's a 20. Okay, um... Dirty, not that. So, with a 20, with a dirty 20, I will say that, yeah, you can, you can track... There's a lot of heat signatures down here because, I mean, there's a lot of keepers down here. Um, but you do quickly notice that the pattern of quote-unquote footsteps is different obviously because you know human two feet keepers four feet and they're like on a completely different angle um and so yeah you can you can track um the the direction that this guy presumably took i think i got something um i don't know what's going on down here so you know watch out for surprises but i got his footprints Follow me. Watch out for surprises. Quizzically. What kind of surprises? I enjoy surprise parties. Am- ambushes. Obviously. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you know how we were ambushed by a bunch of invisible people who tried to kill us? That's that's more what I'm suggesting. Dismayed. Oh no, not that kind of surprise. <laughs> All right. Hmm. <laughs> and I, I'll just keep walking down. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so it it leads you to another one of the elevator doors. Um, you, how closely are you following everyone? Or how closely is everyone following you? Are you all staying quite close together? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to? Imme- no. Immediately, no. I'm gonna be saying that Braga's pulling up the rear. <laughs> um, just because she's the biggest, she wants to make sure no one's following. All right, she does love that booty. She does exactly. It's all about that face. <laughs> uh, where is Clues in relation to Jesse? Um, I would say that Clues is like right <laughs> over Jesse's shoulder. Okay, uh, in that Clues case, kind of feels like this brainless man needs a little protection. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, in that case, uh, the elevator door opens like right as you walk up, Jesse. Is there someone there? <laughs> no, it's just, it's it's empty. It just slides open, a la automatic door. Great. Um. And it does appear to be empty. This way. <laughs> <laughs> no one's stopping me. I'm gonna go on. Yay. Okay, uh, do do you all pile into the elevator, or are we splitting the party and Athena's going off fuck knows where? Because <laughs> uh, that is kind of the impression I yeah. got. Can she just do maybe a quick perception check to see if anyone else is lurking before we follow each other? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah. Is it perception? We're going to... Yeah, no. that'd be perception. Right. Athena's going to take the stairs of the Citadel. It's like a year later. <laughs> hey, it's 20. Nice. Sorry, what was that? Natural twenty. Yeah. Natural Hot twenty. Damn. Woo! About time. <laughs> oh, what do you Hell see? Yeah. Um. You spy out of the corner of your little eye <laughs> a very <laughs> cleverly <laughs> hidden small crate in a dark corner. What's this? And you notice it because there's nothing else down here. This is just a place where, you know, the keepers come and they move through and then they leave. So. One of these things is not like the others. And this is unattended. Let me check this. Hold up. I just gotta... Alright. What do I find? Uh, well, are you are you are you touching it? Are you checking it? Are you scanning it? It's a it's a small crate. It's probably about mm. I don't know shoebox sized. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll. S- s- so not What's the, in the size. What's in the box? It's in the box. Um, she just looks back at Vraga <laughs> and kind of nods her head at the box. You want to maybe uh touch it. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. She was, she was heading towards the elevator, but now she's like, walks up to the box and kind of does one of those 
neck rolls and she's gonna reach out and try and open it. What kind of like latch are we working with here? Or is it just like a lid? Nondescript? Um I, I would say it's probably it's probably a latch. Okay. Um Yeah, I know boxes. Oh, I am well. definitely summoning my Omni Shield. <laughs> Why do you think I asked the Kurgan? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Vraga, I'd like you to roll me a either either a con save or a deck save, whichever oh, you would prefer. Fuck. Let's see, uh, let's, we're gonna do Constitution. All right, and that'll be a D twenty plus whatever my modifier is, right? Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Plus your con modifier, and if you are proficient in co- in uh, Constitution saving throws, then you would add your proficiency bonus. I don't recall whether you are. I am so. not. That's okay. Okay. That is a dirty twenty, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no problem. So the <laughs> box is is trapped with with an overload charge, essentially, um, and you just tank it. <laughs> And it probably, it probably, it, like, I imagine it t- does, like, a solid dozen damage <laughs> to, to your shields. So, like, not a whole lot. Uh, but yeah, you just, like, zzz, it's like, you know, shaking somebody's hand with the joy buzzer in it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, you have opened, you have opened the crate. Um, and it is full of key cards. Fuck yeah. I think we might have hit the mother load here. Enthusiastically, jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let's have a look at these babies. Thank you for opening that, by the way. Oh, no problem. It's better than uh, what you humans drink in the morning. What is that? Coffee? Tried it once. More disgusting than ring call. Oh, tequila. Tequila? <laughs> I feel like Vrog would like tequila. Probably, yeah. Probably very much so. Mm. That's the separate alley. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. You have found you found a crate full of key cards. Are you guys? Uh, I assume you're taking them with you and heading to the elevator. Yep. Is there any telling offhand what they access? No, they're all. And I mean, you you know that the one that you found goes to the apartment. the apartment because the information was in her uh, Omnichannel. Okay. Uh, but without without stopping and spending some time, you wouldn't immediately know. They're not labeled. It's not like, you know, the floppy disk with the, the written sharpie label on them or whatever. Gotcha. So they all kind of look floppy like disc. a nondescript. Do yes. they look legit? Yeah. Or yeah, like okay. count? Um, I would say roll me a check of your choice to determine. I would probably probably perception. Yeah. <laughs> is that just like a handful of them or is there like a fuck ton? Um, I'd say like probably, <laughs> a, probably a couple of handfuls. The dirty 20. Yeah. Okay. Um, as far as you can tell, they look legit. It's hard to know for sure uh, without like actually trying them, but they're not obviously uh, they're not obviously faked. Uh, as you kind of like rifle through them, uh, some of them appear to be like old old C set cards. Some of them like they, this is a this is a little trove of ID cards and key cards and access cards from a lot of places looks like and some of them are co- are completely unmarked so yeah Vraga's just gonna store right, them um, away then okay. oh sweet I was gonna split him easier if you do it I, I got the okay. I got the inventory capacity so I might as well do it the carrying weight <laughs> <laughs> yes hi Carlac <laughs> right Carlac. carry my bag Ariaki technology an earthborn manufacturer of armor weapons and army tools is the only choice for your military survival. Our high-grade armor features enhanced ablative weave for extra protection. Don't trust your life to other brands. Trust in Ariaki technology. We left off in the the underground of the Presidium of the Underground. Um, and uh, you guys were about to take the elevator up to wherever this person was going. Mm-hmm. Yes, we were. Uh, are you doing anything else before you go? No. I don't think so. All right. Okay. Uh, you take the elevator up. Well, do we get do we get more elevator chatter? <laughs> 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 Those cards look pretty legit. I know. The, the cards... I mean, the cards kind of 
it's just it's just a mess of random alloy. There's not even any markings on them. That's probably the point. I guess we did find them in a crate in the Warren, so... In the dark. I mean, that means they probably have a lot of access to the Citadel, or at least the wards. <laughs> I like that. And it did tase me when I opened it, so... Probably a good <laughs> chance there was a reason for that. Yeah, you're all right, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. It's just, uh... You know. Shields will... The sh- my shields will recover. It's totally fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, you make it up the elevator, and you... Oh, it opens on yet another series of, like, little corridor things. Um, but then you come out into... Uh, one of the residential areas of the presidium, uh, which are not, um, so the wards, the, the citadel, the citadel houses somewhere on the order of like a, uh, 12 million ish people, something like that. If, if I recall correctly, um, I may have to double check that number, but I think it's right. But most of them live on the wards. Um, the people who live on the presidium are usually, you know, the very rich folk, typically, because it's considered, you know, prime real estate. Although these are the lower levels, so they're not quite as prestigious. You're not living on the Presidium Ring, uh, exactly. Yeah, are you are you still following the, the heat signature, I presume? That is what Jesse will do. <laughs> okay. It, well, it leads you to a door. The panel on the door is red, unsurprisingly. What, what, what will you do? I'm just going to say that Jesse stopped before he's right in front of the door, so he's not just, like, standing in front of a house <laughs> uh, unannounced. <laughs> does uh, does this door align with the address of the yeah, key card yeah. that I have access to? That one. As a matter of fact, it does. Yeah. Yay! Brilliant. <laughs> what you assume to be Susanna Scutari's apartment uh, and so I'm I'm imagining the layout of these things. So we're still in sort of like subterranean sort of style. So think about mm-hmm. um, what was called the wards in Mass Effect One, where like where Cora's den is, where Doctor Michelle's med clinic is, uh, that sort of style. And so yeah, we're unlike like the the Presidium Commons Plaza in Mass Effect Three, where you know the apartment buildings are they face onto like the the big open air sort of thing. It's all underground. Um, yeah, so yes, this is this is the address that uh, where Susanna Scutari lived, presumably. Or at least the address that she put down as her, her place of residence. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, excellent. In that case, um, I am uh, Clues. Uh, you are. Yes, I am and is also. <laughs> we are... Uh, <laughs> going Words. to <laughs> so we're going to uh, hold up the key card to the entry point uh, and say um, tenaciously here I begin to crack this case wide open <laughs> as you hold the the key card up to the red panel uh, it flickers orange and then green and then the door opens clues uh, would like to sort of um, just like do do that like neat little detective like thing where you're just sort of like hiding on the side of the door and then you like kind of peek in around the corner and just oh like oh my god look are are you <coughs> do I see anything? anything well are, are like you a perception doing a check? Ch- thank you yeah. I'm like are you doing a check <laughs> or are you just doing a cool thing both yeah. <laughs> both 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 all right that is unhelpful uh <laughs> Athena's just holding onto her gun. I said 11. Act like we belong here, right? <laughs> this is my house. Uh, with an 11, <laughs> you do not see any traps or any any indication that there might be anything trapping the door. Great. Uh, so, with unwarranted confidence, <laughs> the coast is clear. Here we go. After you. There's a sound bite for you. <laughs> oh, I love that. So, yeah, I, I enter. Yeah, Vraga's going to be one of the ones that goes in for... Uh, yeah, afterwards, after Clue, she's going to go right in. You guys go in, and you find a very well-styled, uh, clearly um, luxurious or expensively styled apartment. Uh, fairly open concept. 
Uh, you guys, okay, so imagine like the the fancy apartment that like Morinth had. That is sort of the level of mm. of decor that we're talking here. So quite open concept, mm. um, like leather couches, uh, sort of low to the ground. There's like one of those fake fireplaces in the wall. Um, there are no windows because we're we're underground, Ooh. quote unquote. Um, but it's very posh, very posh, very fancy, um, and it looks entirely unlived in. Uh, there are no personal effects that like really speak to you of of a home. Um, it is a very like it, it could be a show home. It's so perfectly set up. And that is all I will tell you on on like your first your first look. I'm remembering something from um I think it was two where the Omni tool can detect DNA if it's calibrated properly. But I don't know that I I mean I Virago would not be able to do that because she doesn't have she has a minus one in intelligence, so <laughs> 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 well, we also have her Omni tool, um, so I wonder if that would give us any special access. Yeah. Who has um, her Omni tool right now? I have her Omni tool right Clues? now. Clues? Clues. Clues has the Omni tool. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I would love to. Uh, I would love to open up her Omni tool uh, and see uh, what what it will activate. What might show up. Yeah, it's not maybe, so maybe something will ping. Mm. Yeah, try to try to control. Yeah, so you you turn on her Omni tool, uh, and the interface um, shows up at a sort of a weird angle because you're not like wearing it like most people do. Although I'm curious, I suppose Elcor arms still work the same way. I feel like as they stand like this most of the time, the Omni tool would like project up here or mm. something. Anyway, mm. thinking about this <laughs> way too much. <laughs> So yes, there's this sort of awkwardly projected on the tool interface uh, as you turn Elcor on Google Glass. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, I love it. It like beams from her hat. <laughs> <laughs> Chef's kiss. I love this so much. Uh, so yes, you 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 turn on Susanna's on the tool and the interface pops up, uh, and as you do, uh, a a VI's voice quietly pipes out of the ceiling speakers. Welcome home. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Suspiciously. Thank you. It is a delight to be here. How will you serve me today? <laughs> Did your assignment go well? Yes. So yes. <laughs> Lying through my teeth. <laughs> it went exactly to plan. God damn it. Clues. That's wonderful. Do you want some supper? Delightedly. Why, yes, I could eat a horse. Error. No horse detected in food stores. Would you like to order horse? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Intrigued. I would. Yes. No, no, we don't want horse. Clues, we're getting a little off track here. Uh. <laughs> Order for horse accepted. <laughs> it will be delivered in 3 to 10 Citadel business days. Gleefully. I have always wondered what horses are like. Not for eating. If we have the time, we might be able to give Solace some horse meat to cook, but we have not the time right now. I guess on the upside, it'll look like someone's home still if they get a delivery. Of a horse? Somewhat regretfully. I'm sorry, I have taken this A bridge too far. <sighs> I'm sorry, do you have companions? Should I play music? Play Despacito. You no, know, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> With overwhelming excitement. Yes, please play The Girl from Ipanema. My friends have not heard it yet. Accessing. <laughs> the strains of The Girl from Ipanema do, do, are uh, played <laughs> through, 
through the speakers. Uh, and she, the, the VI lets this play for a little bit and then says, Would you like to file a mission report? No. I think it's like doing the cutoff next. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Slyly, like a fox. No. No mission report yet. However, I would like to read my previous mission reports. Athena gives vigorous thumbs up. <laughs> As th- Athena and also Vraga are both like, <laughs> yeah, like, oh. big thumbs up. Of course. Please provide identity verification. Plainly stumped. I am who I am. <laughs> This virtual intelligence is not equipped with voice recognition. Please continue to the workstation and provide identity verification. Can Jesse do a hack or something? Jesse, you think you could crack this thing? All right, I can work with that. Effusively. Jesse, you have got this. I I will walk over and attempt to hack this console. I'm in. (laughs) Oh, man. Yeah, someone casting guidance. Bardic inspiration from Clue. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I am what I am. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's a nat 20. Oh! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, yeah, man. A total of 26. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you sit down at the console, and <laughs> your your fingers fly, and you the green text flies across the screen, or I suppose, no, it's like the weird blocks of like, there's the white text with the purple text and then the yellow and the blue and you. It's a Unix system. I know this. (laughs) Uh, And you are in. Um, You have full access uh, to all of the files. There are quite a few files here. It's uh, it's also appears to be a link. uh, There's an uplink to... um, like a, a network drive sort of dealio, uh, an ex- like an extranet connection, is encrypted extranet connection to a network drive. Um, and there are also local files. What do you want to look at first? There are also like controls for like the apartment, like security and stuff. Like th- this is this is the, the console. It controls everything in, in the apartment. Oh, okay. Well, then the first thing I'd like to do is make sure that we're not getting like, we're, we're not setting off any alarms mm-hmm. or tipping off. Stop any recording. Yeah. Lock the door. Yeah. Recorded. Like, prevent any exterior messages from being sent. Uh, you immediately notice that, yes, upon entry, you did trip an alarm. Uh, and um, you see that it sent it sent a uh, distress signal. Um, you are... Uh, it would take another hacking check to decode who it sent it to, uh, but basically it was just... It was an, an SOS. Uh, so, yeah, I'll turn around and uh, as I'm flying around <laughs> in this console... Uh, say, uh, yeah, we, we're, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, message got sent out. I don't know to who. I uh, need some more time to figure out who, but I think the files are more important right now if you want to cover me. Assertively. Download them onto your Omnitool. Yeah, I'll, I'll take whatever I can get from the local files first. Yes, can you also check if you can open any compartments that have been sealed and solace? Yes. Do you mind standing in front of the door? Thanks, dear. <laughs> big fuck off rack nigh at the door. I we will comply. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, go for it. Um Jesse, I will say with a with a nat 20, uh you are able to do as as Athena asks and you start unlocking compartments and you start downloading the local files um to your Omni tool. That's totally fine. Um you see they are encrypted. Um but you you will un- almost certainly be able to break it. Um so there's the the connection, the extranet connection to the network drive, um, and you could also um, like try to hack into like the apartment systems or anything like that if you wanted to. You would also have access to the VI from this from this console. I I really want this extranet connection. Uh, does anybody see anybody? Uh, as I'm I'm gonna quickly see if there's any like home security measures I can activate. Mm-hmm. There are. You totally can. Uh, there are a couple of um, uh, a couple of mounted guns, a couple of turrets, uh, and you also find a button uh, for the armory. Ooh, yep. Press that. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, so um, I'm gonna say Athena, like one of the cupboards slides open yes. to reveal like sev- like probably like at least a dozen really well capped, really lethal guns. <laughs> uh, we're we're talking like high end uh, of very various <laughs> types. Oh, come to mama! Anyone want some? We've got plenty. And like ammo and grenades and and all sorts of shit. <laughs> Rug is very interested, and she walks over. <laughs> what have you found here? Um, Jesse, you also find that uh, it has... There's a kinetic barrier that you can um, shove up over the door. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Clues is also going to... Because uh, Clues sees uh, Athena start looking at this stuff <clears throat> and says, uh, teasingly... Athena, be sure to check her underwear drawer. Earth movies have taught me this is where valuables are stored. <laughs> and this seems like something, you know, that you would do. <laughs> That's high. What are underwear? <laughs> do you, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. You don't wear any? Why would I wear anything under my suit? Oh, I mean, there's an undersuit. Like, hard suits come with under armor, guys. But under that... <laughs> Why would I wear anything under my undersuit? Color me intrigued. Y'all are keeping a lookout, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got it. Don't worry. Again, back to this underwear thing. As Raga like hefts like this massive shot. Gun, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, oh, we got this. We got this. Now back to the underwear. Exactly. <laughs> All right, I'll check the drawer. Might be something nice in here. Kate, roll me an investigation check. Yeah. Can I give Athena the help action because I suggested this? Absolutely, yeah. You get advantage on it there, Leah. So you can roll twice and take the higher one. I love that we're doing an investigation check on an underwear drawer. Pretty great. It's very <laughs> apropos for this group. Personally, I right? love that I'm the only one not doing not it. I know! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 17. Woo! Uh, okay. Uh, you find a stash of credit shits. Hell yeah, bud. Oh, look, I found uh, three more money. <laughs> <laughs> Very self-satisfied. Nailed it. <laughs> also, these appear to have some tags still on. Oh, this one's in purple. Grabbing that. <laughs> love it. Love it. Okay, uh, Jesse, what else are you doing on this computer while the girls are ransacking? <laughs> I'm definitely going to move on to trying to hack the, the extranet, but I also want to know, does Solace know if I'm trying to speak to them? Mm, good question. My, like, can, mm. can Solace read minds from another room? No. No. <laughs> um, not unless, like, there are certain situations where that might be more, like, if you were Arachni, yes, but All you're right. not. <laughs> um, so if you, like... If you if you yelled at her, at them to get their attention, and then then you like you could in theory sort of create this this bridge, <gasps> um, but humans aren't immediately set up with the capability to communicate on the same level that Rachni are. Okay, cool. so Jesse's gonna try anyway because he doesn't know. He's just gonna be like, there's like five percent of his brain that's like hard thinking, like. <laughs> Sell, 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 while the rest of it is going <laughs> at the computer. <laughs> yes, what is it? Oh, God. <laughs> actually, Solace, I'm going to get you to do a perception <laughs> check first, just oh, okay, to, gotcha. to see if this actually works. All right, gotcha. And if you could oh, not tell okay. the, uh, if you could DM me the response, oh. that would okay. be great. Vraga. Yes, Athena. This is underwear. And she holds them up. It doesn't look like it would cover anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of the point. Oh yeah, I, I think I've I think I've seen this in Fornax, actually. <laughs> <laughs> is that a paid subscription? <laughs> One time when uh, when we had one of the males over to uh, where the shamans <laughs> live, uh, they left one, and uh, yeah, it was just a interesting read. Sarcastically, 
Yes, I've heard the articles are most preferable to many. I bet. <laughs> yeah, it's not really uh it's not really marketed for the articles clues, but yeah. Okay, we have resolved with Jesse and Solace, so go ahead, Solace. Yes, what do you need? Oh, awesome that worked. Uh if you see anybody approaching threateningly, you wanna let me know. I- I've got some home defense stuff I can activate to help you out the door. Of course. That would be most helpful. Alright, l- let me know. Alright, what else are you are you gonna try to access this network drive, Jesse? Oh yeah, I cannot ignore my curiosity. Okay. <laughs> um well it's a it's a it's a pre it's it's essentially like you're remoting into a like a VPN sort of deal. Mm. And so you're just you you're you're double clicking on the icon. Uh and it, it connects you, and you are presented with uh, yet another password prompt. I'm going to try and hack again, I guess. Okie dokie. <laughs> try Minos. <laughs> Minos, one, two, three. Minos, number one. Aliens suck. That's the combination for my luggage. <laughs> try boobs. We hate Shepard. It's a dirty 20. Hey! <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, that's that'll do it. You you manage to hack your way, and it's a little bit more skinny your teeth this time, uh, but you manage it, um, and you have now accessed a network database um, that, at a quick scan, informs you uh, that this is one node of a safe house network for Minos, um, and this is also the, the, you know this because that is the header on this file that you, on this folder that you have opened that contains a shit ton of mission reports. Fuck yeah. Download these two. Juicy, let's get into it. How closely are <laughs> you reading this list? I, the, the first thing I'm going to do is just do a search for Marathon and then try and download everything I can. Are you, are you looking or are you like control F Control F searching, yeah. Hell yes. There is a listing for it. Uh, it shows up in the list. Um, and you can download You can download just that file. Or you can download all the other files. Okay. Because I'm a little bit concerned for time, um, I want to download this file on the marathon. I would do another control F for, like, recent safe houses or, like, currently active safe houses. And the last thing I try and do is make a backdoor account into it so that I can access it later. Good. Okay. Um. So you were gonna copy the marathon file, look for recently used safe houses, and then do the backdoor account, or was that was there another one in there? Yeah. No, that's it. Okay. You can you can download the file about the marathon, no problem. That's easy peasy. Control C, Control V. Um. I will say that you can attempt to do both if you spend a stress. If you are not willing to spend a stress, then I will say that you only can do one of them. Do it. Do I it. Will, do I will spend it. the stress. This is pretty important for the character. Okay. <laughs> uh, then I will say roll with advantage one last hacking okay. check. Did I just mark a stress? Is it? Or is that effort? Or? Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, sorry. It's effort now. Okay. It's a 23. 23? <laughs> Don't jinx it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I literally rolled a 1 and a 17. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> okay. That is good enough. You you manage it. You manage them both. Um, and uh, I will say not a moment too soon because uh, Solace hears boots coming down the hallway. You have been listening to I Should Roll, Dangerous Dangers, Episode 5, Hack First, Ask Questions Later, featuring the voices of Alanya Campbell as Solace Within Clay, Tiff Compton as Ravenor Vraga, Amanda Cotter as Clues, Leah Lawson as Athena Hellier, Dan Spidleri as Jesse Westcott, and Kaya Renwick as Everyone and Everything Else. Music and sound effects are used under Creative Commons or royalty-free licenses. 
For the extended credits, please see the show notes. And for more information, please visit ishouldroll.com. Find us everywhere on social media at I Should Roll. And don't forget to leave us a review. I Should Roll is an intergalactic improv initiative production. This fan podcast is a transformative work and is not affiliated with Electronic Arts or Bioware. Thank you for listening. Have a pleasant day. Welcome back! So good to see you again. Marco here, just in case you've forgotten. Did you enjoy the show? Mmm, fabulous. What was your favorite part? Oh, I liked that bit too. Did you by any chance squeeze that review in yet? Yes? Oh, precious. Much obliged. Yes, I'll unlock the door now. Same time next week?